Do you know Berkshire Hathaway? Hey. Hello, this is Reinhard von Hennix. If you know Berkshire Hathaway, you know that this company is owned by Warren Buffett. And if you also know something about Warren Buffett, it is that he is trying to collect companies like other people collect stamps or coins. Berkshire Hathaway was on a shopping tour around the year 2016-17 and identified the German company a pipe manufacturing known as Schulz out of Krefeld, which happens to be the sister city of Charlotte, but that's maybe subject for a different musing. This company was interested in selling, but also this company was close to insolvency. A few days before they started to negotiate with Berkshire Hathaway, a local advisor came to the conclusion the company should go the insolvency route. When Berkshire Hathaway was, however, interested in the company, they received data, which may have been manufactured through Photoshop, of purchase contracts which pushed the company value up significantly. Berkshire Hathaway bought the company for 800 million and now won an award in arbitration to reclaim the funds. Two interesting concepts. Number one, in parallel, Berkshire Hathaway filed a lawsuit in Germany for 800 million dollars, which means the court fees alone which they had to pay is approximately 329,000 euros, let's say 380,000 dollars. So Berkshire Hathaway is really out for the grabs. And number two, they won in arbitration, but Schultz decided to file in the United States in a court against the arbitral award. Traditionally, we lawyers say, if you win in arbitration, you cannot have this matter heard in court again. What we have now is that both parties, plaintiff and defendant, filed parallel actions in court. So arbitration may be negotiated in the contract, but in reality, the courts may decide. Or the court may decide, we do not hear this case because we have a binding arbitration agreement. However it develops, it remains an interesting matter. And for those who are just interested in the very quick top view, Maybe it is better not to mess with Berkshire Hathaway.